my god, it's so quiet here. It's almost it's so scary. And what was that? Ah! Oh, god damn it! I Oh, you friggin' witch! You just friggin' broke my camera, okay? Like, do you have any idea how much this friggin' cost me, okay? Like, oh, screw this. Like, if you're not gonna pay for it, screw it. I'm doing this. Can you guys believe it's been roughly 20 years since the Blair Witch Project came out? 20 years ago, this film came, it blew us all away, and created the found footage subgenre of horror. Now, say whatever you will about the movie, and even found footage films in general, but you can't deny that it was a benchmark for the genre. And now, we've actually got something that you can check out for free on YouTube that trumps the two official sequels. Blair Witch Legacy. A fan film that, honestly, is worth checking out. Unlike the two official sequels, Legacy goes for a meta-narrative. It actually explores how the Blair Witch Project actually impacted the real-life town of Burkittsville, and even delves into the possibility of that town's own history being represented by the film's lore, such as the murders committed by Rust and Parr actually being done by a real person. Now, of course, this is all fiction, but it is actually done with, some, with actually a good deal of convincing care, and this is because of the film's... I would say both biggest weakness and biggest strength. It's terrible production value. As soon as the movie starts, you can tell this thing had the budget of a ham sandwich, or not even that, just two slices of bread. Because, okay, it's been a while since I've seen The Blair Witch Project, but I do remember them using real microphones. The sound in this film can be absolutely terrible at times, but it does actually lend an air of authenticity to it as a low-budget indie production. And in that respect, it does feel like a genuine homage, and it has some really great tense scenes that, if you're in the right mood, can be outright scary, and are just fantastic to watch considering what little they had to work with. But of course, it is a found footage film, so we do have to... But of course, it is a found footage film, which means most of the things we see are going to be from the point of view of one dude. So, how's the acting then, and the guy that we spend most of the time with? Well, it's actually not too bad. The main, the protagonist, the woman, she isn't too great, but the two guys the film spends the bulk of the time with, they're actually pretty good. They give good performances. It's more of just the girl who starts everything, and all the other characters in the background that aren't that great, to be honest. They don't exactly give the best performances. Whatever shortcomings this movie has, they are forgivable, just so long as you adjust your expectations. If you're a diehard fan of The Blair Witch Project, you have the absolute most to get out of this. But if you're just a casual moviegoer or horror fan, yeah, more than likely you will be bored checking this out. But hey, it's on YouTube for free, so even if you do give it a look, it's not like you wasted any money in particular. Hey, thanks for checking out the video, I really do appreciate it, and if you guys really liked it, then by all means, hit the subscribe button, and of course, the bell icon. Now for the next movie review, I'm going to be taking a look at Ryan Reynolds and Nintendo's live-action movie, Detective Pikachu, and for game reviews this month, don't worry, the Rage 2 review is just about done. I've got all that and more coming up, so please, by all means, stick around.